A graduation present turned into a nightmare for a Noblesville teen who was aboard that drifting cruise ship in the Gulf of Mexico. The disabled ship finally reached port in Alabama last night. Tonight, RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet is here after speaking with the girl's family, and there are a lot of questions and concerns. Chris. That's right, Todd. Brianna Atkins and her family praised the job done by the crew of Carnival's Triumph, and they're certainly glad that she's safe tonight, but they're also concerned about how this happened and if there was a plan in case of a fire on board. Clutching a bouquet of Valentine's Day roses, 18-year-old Brianna Atkins of Noblesville, one of the over 3,000 passengers aboard the disabled ship, is finally reunited with her parents. I'm so excited to be on land. I kissed it when I first got off. Rusty and Beth Atkins drove from their Noblesville home to greet their daughter when the Carnival Triumph finally limped into the port of Mobile Thursday evening after it caught fire off the coast of Mexico. It took five days for the ship to dock at the Alabama cruise terminal, three days after it was due. I wanted to be there for her, you know, and be taking care of her as dad's supposed to do, and I wasn't able to do that. So when I was able to see her, my goodness, what a great feeling. The cruise was a graduation present for Brianna, who was along with her aunt. Back in Noblesville, her family has a lot of concerns and questions. Things can happen, but I think that, that there should be measures and things. I mean, they know that fires can happen. So what is their plan if a fire happens in the middle of the ocean? What was their plan? Did they have a plan? Passengers described deplorable conditions after days on the listing ship without electricity or working toilets, although most passengers praised the job performed by the crew. Days of fear and uncertainty for families who watch the ordeal unfold on TV. They're really pretty hard. My mom um, physically got sick over all of this because she was just really worried. It's her daughter, my sister. Um, but... We have a lot of faith, and we just believe that God was going to take care of them. While Carnival has apologized, for some passengers it's too late. For others like Brianna Atkins, there is only relief to finally be off of that ship. Family members said they don't believe that Brianna's parents plan to take legal action against the cruise line. The Atkins are expected to stay in Mobile for a couple of days before they return home to Noblesville. Chris Prophet, RTV6.